G'day. Welcome to Mixed Relay Race Report from yesterday. So today's Friday, race to Thursday. Um, chilling in my pool because it's a chilled out lazy Friday because it was race day yesterday, having a full day to just relax, did some yoga, some meditation, um, about to go make some banana pancakes. It's a good Friday. Then I've got osteo later on, recover the body, get it all set to go again on Sunday. So I'll run you through the race. So I was in heat two, um, partnered with Ella Lane, uh, and they did uh, men first, women second for the heats, and then for the finals, they did women first, men second. So I had the pressure of making sure I gave Ella a good enough spot to start, and that scared the shit out of me. I was so much happier her starting, and me being wherever, didn't mind but I just didn't want to give her a, a disadvantage on everyone else. And I kind of did. So I had an absolutely shocking start. I don't know what happened, but like there's a video. I'll add the video. <laughs> I'm just so far behind from the dive. Like straight up, I'm a body length out. So I've got to work on my reaction times, I guess. Um, and I need to work on my diving skills because my goggles came off straight away. Like I dove in, so standing on the side of the pool, dove straight in, goggles poof, filled with water, straight up off the bat. So 300 meter swim in the pool, chucking laps. Swim up, goggles full of water, tumble turned. As I tumble turned and pushed off, they, they like flipped like that and then came back up and sat half on my eye, half on my, my eye bone. That was ridiculous, so I couldn't see. And I was sharing my lane with Luke Harvey, which is pretty cool to be able to share your, a lane with one of your best mates in the scene. So that was nice, except that he had an absolute weapon of swim and smoked me, put like a body length into me by the 50 meters. Um, so then I, I just swam, like, trying to see what I could so I didn't swim into anyone, keep a straight line. And then tumble turned again, they've lifted up, came back down, and this happened for the next couple times. Uh, so I was pretty much swimming almost blind. And I remember going through my head, I was like, Phelps, he did this when he won gold, 100 meters butterfly, goggles filled up straight away. He still won, so I've got no excuses. Um, so I pushed through it and then starting the last 100 meters, I tumble turned, the goggles went under my nose. So I had to like, as I've stroked, I've gone like, came like, came out, just did like that, and then pushed back through. But it, I lost so much time fucking around, and I'm sure there's a lot of drag when goggles aren't sitting right. So I'm never wearing those goggles again. Um, they've been my trusty race goggles. This season, I buy a new pair, open water pair every season because that way they're nice and clear and they're not foggy. Because especially me being, um, not a strong swimmer, I need to know where I'm going, so I minimize losses everywhere. Um, so that happened, my eyes were ridiculously sore. Imagine swimming for four minutes in chlorine, just burning your eyes up, not good. Then I uh, ran into transition and I actually wasn't that far behind. I left transition, ran down the pack of maybe five, they weren't too far ahead. I felt like I had a great transition, which I'm so thankful for because my transition last one, that was shocking. So I, that's, that was my ga aim for the relays, was to not have a bad transition, and I did it. Um, we started the bike, and I'm gonna count how many corners there are so I can, I'll just add a video or something so you can see all the corners of this course. But oh my God, it felt like I was in Super League. It was so sick. The corners were everywhere. It was like sprint, break, turn, sprint, break, turn, sprint, break, turn. Every couple seconds. There was, there was one straight that's like 200 meters. And that was about the only, that was where I put my feet in. So I'd have my feet out for the first like bit of the lap, put my feet in on the straight, grab a drink on the straight, hammer it. Um, and I was solo. 
again, another solo bike. Um, but I guess that's all right because on that course, I kind of feel like I was more comfortable solo because I could pick my own line, not having to worry about chopping wheels. And then, yeah, really happy with that. I, I think I averaged 40K an hour on a course where I was constantly slowing down, just super slow through all these turns. But it did help my confidence and my turning ability because the next, in the final, I turned some amazing turns. But I did almost stuff up a lot. So in the, in the relay, in the first, um, in the heat, uh, I was like third lap or something. I've come out of this corner and it's, it's a hard left. And it goes on a little dip and there's a bit of dirt in the dip. So you, you gotta not send it too hard. And I was like, fuck, I'm behind anyway. Like, I don't wanna fall off and hurt myself for Morton, but let's just push this limit. I've come through this dipper, front wheel's gone, back wheel's gone. And on the other side, it's honestly like, yeah. About me to the camera away is the, le the, the width of the road we were turning onto. And it had this little rocker camber where it was like the road had a bump in it. You could use it as an almost rail, but I wouldn't recommend it because that's what I did. I've slid out, hit this roller on like this 90 degree angle and then gone and no one saw it. It was, I was so rattled. It would have been the sickest thing on the video, but that's the highlight for my bike course. Got off the bike, got onto the run, um, being first uh, off in our relay, I had to make sure that I just gave it everything and didn't um, give Ella any advantages, disadvantages. So it was um, <coughs> full max out, minimize time spent on course to try and help her be less far behind. Um, I, I feel a little bad, but I didn't give her a good start. Um, I think she raced well. She's a weapon of a swimmer, so I think that helped. But yeah, and we made final B. So the first race was at 10.30, and the second race started at one. But because I was then first and then last um, in the relay, it was like 10.30, 1.30-ish start. Uh, so I had had a sneaky little garden vegan meal, cliff bar, a little bit of a warm up, um, a little bit of Wim Hof, a little bit of using my isolate massage gun to just like <laughs> freshen the body up. Um, Kayla gave me a little massage, but I feel like I was prepped pretty well. Um, obviously, it's a bit hard to to back up again, uh, but you know we got to do what we got to do. It's good fun. So. Ella had a great race, gave me a great start close to the close to the boys. I was a few, we were a few seconds behind the, the leader and then there was a pack of about four and then she wasn't too far behind that. So I was able to have, have an okay swim, come out of transition right behind these guys. Like just off them, had a good transition, but I ran to the wrong bike. Someone else had the exact same bike as mine. But luckily mine was like three bikes up. So I was like, oh shit, wrong helmet. But like, it was more. Um, again, solo bike. But I was like, we're holding gap with these guys. So I was maybe like five seconds. The next guy was five seconds. And then uh, good old Luke Harvey absolutely dominated the bike course. So respect, bruv. That was, that was a good ride. Um, yeah, just just rode strong, loved powering out of those corners. Didn't slide out in that corner, but coming down, we went through this like loop through the car park. It was the sickest thing and like you'd hook in and there's a tree on the corner and every time I did it, my shoulder and head would like hit the tree. Thinking about that is quite dangerous because my helmet or handlebars could have got caught and grabbed and thrown me off, but they didn't, so that's good. Go Travis, let's go! Travis. And then as you leave, there's this hectic dip. It's honestly like, that on this hard right so you've, you've gone hard left and then you kind of come and like hook it right it's i don't think there's anyone got a video of me doing it but there's videos out there of other people doing it and it's just the sickest thing watching them just snake through but as i've gone down i've just gone down with so much speed and just hit the, on the wrong angle or something the front wheels jumped gone left the back wheels gone my front wheels gone right the back wheels gone left skidded out and then the back wheels slid and I was like, like this on the bike and then watching the witch's hats that were like right there. I was like, oh fuck. And someone's coming the other way. I was like, nah. 
off I was and I was like, yeah. No one saw it again. But so that was the highlight of the bike course. Uh, got off the bike, not too far behind the, the two ahead and then there was the pack up ahead. And really happy with my transition again. So stoked on that. Great, four great transitions. Um, and then started to run. The run was really good. Um, yeah, I ran down the two ahead of me, felt really strong. Um, and my overall time was only eight seconds slower than my heat. So I think that's pretty good to stay pretty consistent after backing up after doing it already. Um, maybe that eight seconds was running to the pool. So it was probably identical swim, bike, run times. Hell fun. Um, I think my swim pace was like 112s. Um, yeah, my bike pace was about 40k an hour. Run, I think it was like, it was sub 310. It was like 308 or something like that. But yeah, really happy with the little tap out and how fresh I'm feeling today. Ready to go dig into some pancakes, get ready for Morton, and you'll have another race report in about a couple days. Catch you then.